God bless Phil Robertson, man who stands on God's love. Stand beside him with the light and guide him with the truth that comes from above. He speaks truth to America. Phil Robinson does not lie. God bless Phil Robinson as he poked that satanic gay devil in the eye with the question for the universe. Is it the vagina or the anus? God bless Phil Robinson, a man for the ages. <laughs> Thank you, Phil Robinson. And by the way, uh, you know, this, this matter of, of promoting this debauchery, it, it's just gotten too far out of hand. Um, the long-legged Mac Daddy, the son of Satan, has uh, sent America down a course that's going to send everybody to hell. I mean, this business of everywhere you turn now, uh, there is this bullying, and gay people are bullies. I mean, they are bullying you, daring you not to say anything about their perverted, if you will, uh, lascivious lifestyles, and they're making people cow down. But Phil Robinson has stepped forward with a lot to lose, as it were, were he a greedy, if you will, secular, godless, satanic person, then he would consider what he has in terms of having the biggest cable television show, 14 million viewers on a weekly basis, and the most powerful uh, sitcom or reality show on the planet. And yet, for the love of the Lord Jesus Christ and the truth and the power of the gospel and the word of God, he has stepped forward and raised the question. He's pointed out that whether we should or men should seek after the vagina, or as we just noted, the anus, and pointed out how this is satanic, it is bestiality, it is perverted beyond belief, and, and my friends, I'm going to ask you to stand with Phil Robinson. And if I can ask Phil Robinson humbly as I approach uh, uh, his, his power and his presence, humbly do I come, and lightly do I tread. But Mr. Phil Robinson, would you now, as standing as the appointed leader of those uh, to stand over against Mr. Obama, the son of Satan, who has spread this disease like the black death of Europe going back to the Middle Ages, where everywhere you turn now, somebody wants to play the anus game or wants to play the lesbian love game. I mean, he has turned our nation into a cesspool. And you have stood with so much at stake and with a voice that can be heard and cannot be denied. Will you now also ask that the pastors of our nation step to their pulpit and speak what thus saith the Lord God Almighty? that this is a blasphemy. It is an abomination. There is no equality of this. This is the sickest mindset of anything that has ever been presented on the world scene. That there is no place in creation where same sex or any paradigm, there are a likeness there too. Everything in the universe has the opposite, the male and the female. We have our days and we have our nights. We have our light and we have our darkness. We have our ups and we have our downs. We have our wets and we have our dries. But there's no all wet. There is no all light. 
There is no all darkness. There is no all up. And there is no same sex except for the perverted sick minds of those who wish to defy creation itself. You don't even have to believe in the word of God. All you have to do is look into creation and see that is an abomination. And understand this clearly, that a man's uterus, his colon, a man's colon is not a uterus. You can't make no babies in the back door. It is just simple perversion. We thank Phil Robinson for standing and I'm asking all America to stand with him as lightly as I can possibly tread and approach this man of great courage and conviction. I pray that he will next challenge all pastors standing in your pulpits, no matter what the sin in your life is. The word of God is without sin. The word of God is without spot or wrinkle. And the word of God says this is an abomination. Stop this perversion. Stop this satanic disease that is spread across the minds of America. Now that Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac daddy, son of Satan, quasi-Muslim freak, has introduced to America that we no longer have to adhere to the standards of creation, from the far reaches of our planet, from our solar system, all the way out to the back door of the beginning of time itself. There is nothing as ugly as this whole matter of men seeking after other men's anus and falling in love with it and calling it true. I'm the Lord's servant, and we applaud. God bless Phil Robinson. The man who stands high above, will you guide him and inform him with the light of God's power and God's love?